have, so far this year, have removed about 800 gang members off the national gang list. What's your understanding of the rationale behind that? Look, I, I haven't um, I haven't been briefed on any change around the national gang list. Um, the police have a criteria for that. Uh, I've got Deputy Commissioner um, McSkiving here, if you want to talk to that. Jevin. Kia ora, thank you. Uh, Deputy Commissioner, Operations New Zealand Police. Um, happy to answer yeah, well, why have you removed, you've removed nearly 8% of gang members, you've taken them off the national gang list, why so is that? Last year we've been doing a lot of validation about who's on the gang list and actually making sure that's accurate in terms of the definition, that is about hygiene and not actually making any significant change in terms of the definition. Would you be taking like dead people off, off the list, because that's been one of the arguments that people... Well that's exactly what we're doing, hygiene is about making sure that that list is accurate to the people that we need to actually address that are in gangs. And you think we need to be careful then with statistics, say for example, if, if politicians are talking about you know, gang offending dropping, we'd have to be careful with that if, if the number... We always need to be careful with statistics. Yeah. So, 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 so just I think, I think the on politicians that one, here, think you, that you won't start celebrating that the number of gang members on the... Well, we, you, you haven't heard us do. You haven't heard. You haven't heard us do that. Yet. We haven't heard you do that. That's right. Um, we've, got, we've got some good progress happening here, yep. and we've got a clear set of plans and a clear course of action and a change posture and a change position. But actually, let's be clear. Uh, we've got a long, long way to go. We have heaps. So just, just sorry. Just really quickly on, on, just really quickly on Bennett's question around the national gang list. We recognise that um, it was actually, and, and the, and the com deputy commissioner just highlighted, they're going through and sanitising it because. Um, it was they, they sort of Longer identified data. that it's quite hard to come off it, um, and so they want to be they want it to be reliable data, um, and that's why they're doing work around that. Stuff. Did you ask them to do that? No. This is kind of convenient for the government well, to have far fewer gangs. No gang. disrespect, but it's not about the frickin' targets. It's actually about the outcomes, and the outcomes here are actually reducing violent crime. Yeah. And so we want to make sure we've got the best, most accurate, sanitised, clean data we possibly can. Sure. So I appreciate the base may be moving, and, and th th that, that'll be what it will be. But it's important we have good quality data, because that data actually drives a lot of actual actions from police officers going after gangs. So that's the important part. Um, so, yep, we'll, we'll keep making sure the data's clean and it's hygiene exactly as it should be. That's exactly what we want to do. But what I'm interested in is the outcomes, and the outcomes have to be less violent crime incidents. And as you know, we've got a long way to go. Uh, we've, got okay. some, we've got some examples of where we've got good results and good outcomes, and, and you know, as you've seen in Auckland CBD, um, you know, but we've now got a set of new laws on gangs. We've got a clear position and policy about how we want to operate and the stance we want to have with gangs, uh, and we're going to go after that.